Food to Camp is a, a two-year funded UK government project. The consortium of businesses, universities and non-governmental organisations is investigating converting industrial waste gases from foundation industries such as metal, glass, paper and chemicals to generate an alternative source of carbon for use in manufacturing consumer products. The project will also have a role in helping the UK reach its net zero targets by 2050. One goal of the Flutochem project is to demonstrate how the UK could cut 15 to 20 million tonnes of carbon dioxide emissions each year. Given BASF's track record of innovation in chemistry, our experts are developing and testing the processes needed for converting captured CO2 into new chemical raw materials. As part of the Flutochem work, we are performing a larger scale trial in a dedicated lab to produce ethanol made from captured CO2 from industrial emitters in Cumbria and Scotland. Over the course of 20 months, we developed a novel process for catalytic conversion to yield ethanol in a more efficient and sustainable way. At its global R&D hub in Ludwigshaven, BSF has developed a new catalyst that promises to outperform current state-of-the-art technology in producing ethanol from captured carbon dioxide and hydrogen. By using cutting-edge R&D techniques and integrating AI and machine learning, BSF has pioneered an accelerated process for the development of new catalysts. This new process meant that multiple tests could be performed faster and simultaneously, while models were able to more quickly and accurately predict outcomes to improve material properties in the development of new catalysts. The catalysts were then tested under standard processing conditions to reflect how they would perform in real-world conditions. With this novel catalytic process, BSS Research stands to unlock a number of applications for the use of captured CO2 as a more sustainable raw material for producing chemicals for a net zero future. So the conversion of CO2 to ethanol is really important because ethanol is quite an interesting molecule. In the context of this particular project, we use ethanol to make ethylene oxide, which then we use to make surfactants for consumer products. Surfactants are essential compounds that are used in a wide range of applications from cleaning and personal care to food processing, pharmaceuticals and industrial uses. They're often found in things like fabric softeners and hair conditioners. One example of how they can work is that they help to emulsify oils and dirt, allowing them to be washed away with water. But ethanol can also be used to make other chemical materials such as ethylene, which is the starting point for many, many other chemical processes. So actually converting CO2 to ethanol is a key process that we need to develop. Ethanol is important because not only is it a key building block for making surfactants, but it is used to make many other useful chemicals with applications across the cosmetics, industrial and pharmaceutical sectors. This is a very unique process which we're running. So rather than the traditional catalyst development route where we make a number of catalysts and you would test all those simultaneously, to see which one cut is the best. This is actually then using AI and machine learning to pinpoint the precise type of catalyst you want and the processes to that actually you're not making many catalysts, you're making one or two, and therefore you can identify which catalysts will have the best outcome for your process. Potential this technology is immense. The transition that we need to make in the chemical industry is the one that sees us move away from fossil-based feedstocks. If we're gonna move away from fossil-based feedstocks, then we need alternative sources of carbon. Those alternative sources of carbon could be biomass, they could be recycled carbon, but we also need to include captured CO2 from the atmosphere. BASF is proud to have contributed to the work of the Flutochem Consortium. Our ambition is to be the preferred chemical company to enable our customers' green transformation. Projects like Flutochem provide us with the opportunity to work across the value chain to develop technologies required to achieve this. Looking ahead, BASF would like to continue building on the success of Flutochem. Further collaboration is needed to enable the processes developed to work at scale, creating new business models for industry across the value chain.